So I was doing my usual reading today when I stumbled across this headline claiming a new supervolcano had been discovered in the Pacific. Intrigued, I clicked, only to find out after some digging that it's complete rubbish. The volcano in question hasn't erupted explosively at all. In fact, it was built slowly over millions of years through effusive lava flows, not some apocalyptic blast. The media slapped the word supervolcano on this story like a radioactive sticker. But here's the truth. No explosive eruptions, no ash, no apocalypse. Just slow lava piling up for millions of years. Big? Yes. Dangerous? Not in a way they're selling it. So let's take a look at what this volcanic structure really is. Imagine plunging into the depths of the southwestern Pacific Ocean, east of the Solomon Islands. Here lies a colossal underwater plateau, a geological graveyard of dead reefs and failed islands. This is the Melanesian Border Plateau, or MBP, a sunken volcanic superstructure that stretches for hundreds of miles along the ocean floor. Covering roughly 222,000 square kilometers, or 85,000 square miles, an area that is little less than the size of the United Kingdom, this submarine giant remained hidden from humanity's view for eons. Its vast expanse is dotted with drowned mountains and atolls, and until recently its true nature was shrouded by the ocean's darkness. We begin our journey over tranquil tropical waters. Sunlight fades with depth. At around 600 meters beneath the surface, the ocean floor rises into towering ridges and flat top seamounts called geos. This chaotic landscape, the MBP, is one of Earth's large igneous provinces, formed by huge volumes of magma leaking through the crust. It's a realm of volcanic remnants, the product of countless effusive eruptions over tens of millions of years. If this plateau had formed in one cataclysmic burst, the event would have darkened the skies worldwide. Instead, the MBP grew gradually, in several stages, a slow-burning volcano whose story is written in the rocks of the seafloor. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. And if you enjoy it, consider sharing it around. The geological saga of the Melanesian border plateau unfolds in four dramatic acts. Each act represents a pulse of volcanic fury from Earth's mantle, building the plateau layer by layer over an astonishing 120 million years. Our narrative rewinds to the Cretaceous period, when dinosaurs still roamed the continents and undersea volcanoes began sculpting this plateau. Act 1, the Cretaceous Inferno, approximately 120 million years ago. Deep beneath the ocean, a fixed plume of magma, what geologists call a hotspot, burned through the Pacific Plate. This particular hotspot, tentatively identified as the ancient Louisville hotspot, poured out a torrent of basaltic lava onto the ocean floor. The first foundations of the plateau were laid in fire. Robbie Ridge, a massive undersea ridge, formed from this flood of magma. Though likely never breaching the sea surface, Robbie Ridge's creation marked the birth of the MBP's rocky bones as magma cooled into basalt. Act 2. Renewal at the Hotspot approximately 75 million years ago. As the tectonic plate carrying the newborn plateau drifted, it eventually passed over a second plume of upwelling heat. This was the Rurutu Arago hotspot, now in the area of French Polynesia. About 45 million years after Act 1, a new surge of volcanism bubbled up. It heaved up seamounts and even islands above the waves. One can imagine a chain of volcanic islands emerging, perhaps briefly forming land in the open ocean. With time, however, these volcanic islands were worn down by relentless waves and subsided back beneath the sea. Their submerged roots, however, added bulk to the growing plateau, like layers in a geologic cake. Act 3. Fires of the Miocene, approximately 20 to 13 million years ago. The journey continued as the plateau drifted further. Around 13 million years ago, it encountered yet another hotspot, this time the very one now fueling the Samoan Islands. Dormant volcanic conduits were reawakened. Magma found old pathways and rose again through weaknesses in the crust. This pulse built new undersea volcanoes and rejuvenated old ones, some perhaps breaching the surface to form ephemeral islands. Indeed, today's Samoa chain owes its existence to this hotspot, and a plateau carries the traces of that fiery encounter. We see in our mind's eye a string of volcanic islands, later eroded to atolls, adding yet another dimension to the plateau's complex topography. Act 4. The Living Volcano. Three million years ago to present. 
In a final act, still ongoing today, the forces at work shifted from hotspots to tectonics. By about 3 million years ago, the drama of plate collision took centre stage. The Pacific plate began to crumple and roll back beneath the nearby Tongan Trench, flexing the crust of the region. This tectonic turmoil acted like bellows on hot magma reservoirs. It triggered new volcanic eruptions on the plateau in geologically recent times. Even now, colossal forces are deforming the crust, and magma still finds its way upward in spots, hinting that the MBP is not a static fossil, but a living, growing volcanic system. In effect, the Melanesian border plateau is still forming in our era, a rare glimpse at a volcano's evolution in real time. Each of these four phases left its mark. The plateau today is like a jigsaw puzzle of volcanic pieces. Ridges, basins, and geos, each piece corresponding to a different volcanic chapter. By studying the chemical makeup of rocks from each stage, geologists can identify distinct fingerprints of the hotspots and tectonic events that built this Frankenstein's monster of a volcano. Unlike a classic supervolcano, which might erupt in one apocalyptic blast, the MBP grew in fits and starts. What appeared to be one giant volcanic edifice was actually built like a layer cake by many episodes of volcanism over an immense span of time. This finding was astonishing. It means other undersea features that look like single large eruptions might also hide multi-act histories. In other words, the Melanesian border plateau is a gentle giant, not a supervolcano. It assembled quietly and gradually, rather than by a single world-shaking eruption. The discovery and study of the Melanesian border plateau carry profound implications. For scientists, it's like finding a missing chapter in Earth's geological history book. One that helps explain how underwater volcanism shapes not just the sea floor, but the entire planet's environment. By understanding the MBP, researchers gain insight into how volcanic activity can drive long-term climate shifts and even extinctions. Each of the four volcanic pulses of the MBP corresponded to wider tectonic dramas, the breakup of continents, the movement of plates, the formation of arcs. These events likely influenced ocean chemistry and climate. For instance, massive lava outpourings can release CO2 and other gases that warm the climate, or aerosols that temporarily cool it. The MBP's steady growth might be a clue to past events where climate changed more subtly, or life migrated and evolved in response to rising and falling sea levels and underwater topography shifts. There are also practical implications closer to home. The rock samples from the plateau revealed something intriguing. They are enriched in rare metallic elements like niobium and tantalum. These metals are crucial for modern high-tech electronics, found in smartphones, computers, and medical devices. This means underwater plateaus like MBP might one day be important sources of rare resources, although mining them would be a tremendous challenge at such depths. The plateau is essentially a gigantic vault of exotic minerals formed by ancient undersea lava flows. While the focus of scientists is on understanding it, future generations might also see it as a resource provided we can balance exploitation with preservation of unique deep-sea ecosystems that likely thrive there. Perhaps the most awe-inspiring implication is what this volcano tells us about Earth's continual evolution. The MBP is young in geological terms. It's still being shaped today by the restless Earth. This reminds us that the face of our planet is never fixed. Even as we live our lives far beneath the Pacific, magma is shifting and creating new crust, adding to a structure that began when dinosaurs were aplenty. The landscape of the ocean floor is being reworked. Given a few million years, who knows, parts of the MBP might rise high enough to form new islands, or perhaps collide with other landmasses. In the grand timeline of Earth, today's configuration of continents and oceans is just a snapshot. Features like the Melanesian border plateau are both products and drivers of the tectonic dance that will gradually redraw the map of the world. Finally, the MBP's revelation spurs a sense of humility and curiosity. If such gigantic structures could remain hidden until now, what else lies in the abyss waiting to be discovered? The Pacific Ocean alone harbors numerous hotspots and volcanic chains, from Hawaii's proud islands to drowned atolls near the Cook Islands. And scientists suspect other oceanic superstructures may have formed in similarly complex ways. Our ability to explore the deep ocean is improving year by year, through international initiatives like Seabed 2030 that aim to map the entire ocean floor. Each new ridge or plateau we find could rewrite what we know about Earth's volcanic behavior. In the end, the story of the Melanesian border plateau, this hidden volcano beneath the Pacific, 
makes for an extraordinary narrative blending geology and adventure. From the murky depths, it teaches us about creation and destruction on planetary scales. It reminds us that Earth's greatest volcanoes are not always the ones that explode with a bang. Some build slowly in the dark, shaping climates and life quietly. And so the hidden volcano carries on its slow symphony of fire and water, an awe-inspiring reminder of the dynamic planet we call home. This is Earth's story, ever evolving, ever alive, told in the language of magma and stone. I hope you found this as interesting as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.